Montgomery is the capital of Alabama. But why? It's not the biggest city or even the oldest city in the state. I mean, in Birmingham, we like corrupt politicians as much as the next guy, so why are they all based in Montgomery? And also the normal boring politicians too, I'm sure. So as part of Ask Alabama, we were asked, was Wetumpka once considered a candidate for the state capital? And the answer is yes, a bunch of cities were, but Wetumpka did come closer than most. See, before 1826, the Alabama capital had been bounced around to a few different places. It had been in Washington County, then briefly in Huntsville, then briefly in Dallas County before shifting up to Tuscaloosa. There were a few reasons why these locations didn't work out. The Dallas County site got so flooded, lawmakers literally had to paddle to the second floor of the Capitol building to cast a vote. But a big reason was that every time the Capitol was shifted to the southern part of the state, the northern counties would throw a fit. And the southern counties would do the same when it was shifted north. So in 1826, when the Capitol was moved to Tuscaloosa, it shouldn't surprise you that all the southern counties weren't happy. And they began a long campaign to get the Capitol moved again. But it was tricky because this time, the new capital of Tuscaloosa was written into the state constitution. So to move it again, they would need to pass a constitutional amendment. Unlike today when folks in Alabama vote on 10 constitutional amendments every time they go to the poll, back then an amendment was a hard thing to get passed. But after 20 years, the southern counties found a way. They tied moving the capital to a different amendment that would allow state lawmakers to meet every two years. At the time, they only met every four years, so it was hard to get stuff done. That was an incredibly popular amendment, so it passed in 1846 along with the measure to move the state capital. So once again, the capital was up for grabs. Now, in the past, the fight for the capital had largely been between northern and southern counties. But in the intervening years, the central part of the state had established its own power base. This area, known as the Black Belt because of the black soil in the area, had gotten rich because of cotton plantations. So when it came time to vote on a capital, a lot of southern counties were willing to move it to a city in the Black Belt as a compromise. The area wasn't too far north or too far south, and a confluence of rivers and train tracks in the area made it easy to travel there from basically anywhere in the state. The two biggest contenders in the Black Belt were Montgomery and Wetumpka. Today people think of Wetumpka as a suburb of Montgomery. Back then it was actually a bigger, more well-established city than Montgomery. But Montgomery was offering up free land to put the Capitol building on, and even offered to pay for the new building. Anyway, in 1846, a bunch of cities made their pitches to be the new capital. Mobile was in the running, as was Selma and Marion, and Tuscaloosa, Wetumpka, and Montgomery. The legislature heard the pitches and then cast a vote, and the city with the most votes was... Tuscaloosa. People in northern counties were so annoyed that the amendment had passed that they were willing to make the amendment say that the capital would be moved from Tuscaloosa to Tuscaloosa. But while Tuscaloosa had the most votes, no city had enough of a majority to win. So they voted again. And again. And again. Each time, more lawmakers who had been supporting some of the cities that didn't really have any chance of winning were putting their lots in with Wetumpka or Montgomery. Finally, after the 16th round of voting, a final decision was reached. Third place was Wetumpka, second place was Tuscaloosa, and the winner was Montgomery. I guess the promise of a capital building at no cost to the state was a tempting enough offer to get them over the top. Ironically, while the city of Montgomery did pay for and build the capital building, it only stood for two years before it burned down in a fire. The state ended up having to pay to build a new one, so I guess there's no such thing as a free lunch. So yeah, Wetumpka was a major contender for the state capital, but in the end, Montgomery won. I'm Jonathan Sobolewski for Reckon. Hey everybody, if you like this video, you can help us out by leaving a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And if you've got questions about Alabama you want answered, you can leave your questions at al.com slash ask. Thanks for watching.